in Europe. We're in the old camper van today. Got to go and get an MOT on it. So um, I've just pulled it up the road a little bit just so that we can, I can let it warm up a little bit because it's supposed to time quarter past eight in the morning. I've got to get to the MOT place um, by nine. So I've just pulled it out the road because um, I didn't want to gas the neighbor or whatever because last time his bedroom window was open <laughs> and I'm sitting there warming it up and he's like, oh, the fumes are coming in my bedroom window. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, so yeah, pulled it up the road a little bit and uh, just sitting here warming the old girl up, warming the beast up. And then we'll be heading off down the MOT place. The plan is just to get an MOT on it because there's a few little things I need to do. I need to be able to drive it round, so I need to be able to get an MOT on it. And then I can tax it and then I can drive it round because they both ran out, unfortunately. But there we go. And once I get an MOT on it, they're gonna they're gonna find a few things. They're gonna find the exhaust leak. They're gonna find the lights um, aren't the right height. I'm gonna mention that to them anyway because I put new lights in and I, I adjusted them the best I could. But without their little mirror thing and their little adjuster thing, what they slide in front, I can't get it perfect, can I? So they might be a little bit out. So I'm gonna, just gonna mention that to them and just say, look, if they're a bit out, it's because I put new lights in, can you please adjust them? Because some people, some of the MOT places, they won't adjust them. They'll just fail it and say the lights are the wrong height. And then you have to pay them to adjust them. Fucking nightmare. But some of them, if you, if you mention, you know, in the past I've mentioned, I've, I've put new lights in, I've tried to get it right, and they'll be like, all right then. And when they look at them, they'll just adjust them for you, because you mentioned it. But they're going to find the exhaust leak, they're going to find the lights, they're going to find a load of stuff. But all I really care about, as long as I get a pass, but all I really care about is if they if they look at it and say there's no structural da there's no structural rigidity issues, there's no rust that's a problem at the moment. Because in the long term future, I'm going to get it all rubbed down and get it under sealed anyway. But I need to get the back part, I need to get all that stuff fixed first. And then I'll worry about the other stuff. Um, but anyway, MOT time, see you in a bit. I got here bloody early. Pardon me, I got there early, and uh, there weren't nowhere to park. So I've come down the road and I've managed to find this little. You know, I wanted this little place to park next to a uh, electricity substation. Got the old. Um, she's warming up there. Look now, she's been. I've been driving around for about half an hour, and uh, we're keeping cooler temperature than we did before, which is good. I still need to flush out and bleed the radiator system and the um, and everything, but. You know, it's going well so far. I don't know if the fan's going to come in automatically or not. I don't think. At the moment, we haven't got any leaks. At the moment. Which is good. I found this nice little place. School. A little bit of a park down there. can't wait to get all of this painted I've already got all the paint I'm gonna paint that I've got some rubbers to put on there rubber steps I've got all the paint and primer to do all of this let's get an MOT on it I wonder if they'll uh, I wonder if they'll mind the cobwebs <laughs> let's get an MOT on it I've left my gloves in there on purpose so they know that it's a project then don't they <laughs> aha the fan come on 90 degrees and the fan come on. I don't know if you can hear that. The fan come on. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that means that the issue was the fan switch. Because in the last video, um, I was sort of trying to sort out the fan and it wouldn't come on. So I just need to see now if that fan cools it down or not. Because it's a bit of an old rickety dickety fan. Or well, the fan's gone off now and the temperature's still reading 90. It might go down. But as long as it keeps it at 90 and it don't let it overheat, that's all that matters, that fan. So the fan come on and it went off. Someone commented that it might have been the relay. I was thinking about the relay. I was thinking about it. When I was doing the putting the fan switch in, I was thinking about I'm gonna have to try and track down the relay for it. If there's a relay for it, it might have been bypassed, it might have been taken off, blah blah blah. But um 
you know, it seems to work, which is good. And that's good for this MOT because I've got a funny feeling that I don't know exactly for sure, but I've had some cars in the past where they failed it because like, the fan hasn't worked. And I've known the fan hasn't worked, but they failed it because the fan don't work. And they say, if you're in traffic, you could overheat. And I'm like, well, that ain't dangerous, is it? And they're like, well, it could be. And I'm like, oh, but that works, that's a good sign. I think it's mad electric. Got that substation. I don't know if this camera's picking the noise up, but if you listen. Don't know if you can hear that, but they always buzz. I know it's obviously because of the electric, but electric fascinates me, man. Why and how does it buzz, you know? Mm, I know it's because there's so much voltage in there, you know? I know it's the plates and all the transformer and all that probably vibrating, I know that, but it's just the, the like why and how it does it, it's always fascinating. The more I learn about electric, the more it fascinates me. You know, I love electric, I love all that kind of stuff. Studying electric and voltage and amps and, you know, or, you know, the reason why things are called they are, because voltage isn't voltage, it's potential difference, but it's measured in volts and is commonly called voltage, you know? And uh, it's all just fascinating to me. I love it, man. Absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm going to stop filming crap now. And I'm going to... Well, I don't know everything I film is crap. But I'm going to stop filming stuff now. I'm going to wait until uh, we get the MOT done. And I'll let you know what's going on. And if I have to wait for it, I might go for a wander. We'll see what I can find in... And uh, I'll walk about the local area, see what's about. But if I ain't got a... If, I do, if, it, if they put this in straight away, I'll just hang around in the waiting area and get it done. But if they send me off and say, we'll do it later on today. <coughs> I'd rather be there... Because if they have any issues, I can literally go, oh, no, this is what you have to do, and, you know, things like that. But, I don't know. It's got a lot of quirks, this little camera. But the mechanics, they should know what they're doing. They need to stop taking over people's bloody jobs. Right, see you in a bit. Hello, you know. <laughs> so, I've just got back from getting the MOT done, and I tell you what, I'm over the moon, you know, over the moon because we've got a few things. I didn't realise it, but the the headlights are left-hand drive headlights, so they need to be rectified. Not a problem. I can either stick the stickers on and that will fix them, or I can get some right-hand drive headlights and put them in temporarily for now. I'm going to stick the stickers on so that's that sorted out and then in the future when everything's done and there's no more major money to spend on it I'll just get some proper right hand drive headlights and put them on there so I don't have to have the stickers on there but that's nothing major so that's that sorted um, it failed on because it failed because the handbrake doesn't work which uh, look to be honest I knew anyway it only works on the left wheel the right wheel don't work um, so I need to try and fix that well all I've got to do is have a look at the cable hopefully the cable is just getting snagged or stuck and it's not properly uh, pulling the, the calipers um, there were some advisories uh, both rear wheel bearings are as a bit, bit of play the front one's noisy on the left hand side passenger side front wheel bearings noisy I've got three wheel bearings to have a look at but they're just advisories nothing major so we're all good. I'm over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. Uh, no rust, no, no welding to be done, nothing like that. So that's, that's exactly what I wanted. There's an exhaust leak, which I know about. I've got a, the full exhaust system is on coastal motorhomes. I might get that, or I might just see if I can bodge up the one I've got, or see if it's cheaper to get one made. There's an exhaust making place nearby, Pipecraft Exhausts. Um, if it's cheaper to get one made, take it there and they just make up an exhaust then I can play around, I can take out a silencer, I could play with the sound, I could do whatever I wanted, not that I wanted to be noisy because it's a camper van but I want to get that you know that old style like them old cars, they had like a, a certain noise didn't they those um, 
two litre carbureted engines you get they had an old you know what i'm trying to say is that you like old school people who know exactly what i mean at the moment it just sounds like a bloody bubble machine <laughs> as it goes down the road because it's puffing out all the leaks um but yeah or i could just i think it's 200 and something pounds for the exhaust system and with two silencers and that i could just but i don't know we'll see what it's like that's in the future because that's an advisory don't need that to pass an mot the exhaust leaking is not a problem that's on the advisories so yeah proper over the moon you lot i'm going to catch on the next one i hope you noticed on that small video that i took all the grass is as dry as a bone because of no one's watering any grass around here because it's too hot but um yeah i'm going to get under there at some point we'll have a little video of uh, repairing the handbrake and seeing what we can find under there and i'll catch you on the next one on the adventures of the tolbert express <laughs> it's going to be a slow progress you look but now at least i know now that the frame is structurally sound i haven't got to do anything with the chassis i mean not the frame the chassis i haven't got to do any work there no welding no nothing that's good yeah there wasn't even i've got some coolant and water leaks on the radiator on the you know, on the coolant system of the pipes didn't even mention them they're fine a lot of mot places was well, a leak gonna fail it didn't even mention them so they're all right i'm gonna fix them in the future but not now um well happy you lot proper over the moon so i'll catch you on the next one all the best enjoy yourselves ciao for now